it is around 6 30 in the morning and hi i've uh gone ahead and, and tried to get my walk in now because it gets entirely too hot here later in the day but there's a lot of people I, a lot of people on the way here um it's a friday so it's regular traffic you know but Doug made me bring mace, so I have my, I have my mace, so pretty good on, <laughs> shit, it's not humid, it's not too terribly humid yet, but it's gonna be, huh, see, this is my mace, and it even has a little, yeah, got a little pouch for it, and shit like that. <sighs> Sorry. We'll strap it back up again. I'm not real sure where I'm gonna walk to. The only time I've ever gone walking around here is when I took Aaron to school. And you know, it's summertime, I'm not walking all the way up to that school. I know that path, so I'm not real sure. I'm making sure that um that I try to keep a pace going and I'm aware of my surroundings. And try to enjoy this. I'm not really gonna do the power walk like Aaron told me to do. Simply, be, you know, he said not to neglect my upper body, but I do kettlebells, which I'm also starting today. I'm gonna start the kettlebells. And uh, that's my workout for my upper body is the kettlebells. I don't want to look like a complete idiot walking through here swinging my arms like some weirdo. But I'm serious about it this time. I'm going to lose this weight. I mean, I should be in bed right now. But I stayed up so late that I thought, mm, I should go ahead and just stay up and do my walk when the sun comes up. Yeah, I don't want to do it in the dark. I have to either do it in the sun, uh, like before the sun comes up or right after the sun goes down. But right after the sun goes down, it tends to be still too hot. And I know I'm not going to walk incredibly far today, but I am going to keep my pace going. And Aaron sent me, he's sending me motivational shit like, what the fuck are you eating? Put it down now. <laughs> and go walking. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, he called me yesterday. And my first text from him was uh what the hell are you eating put it down and go for a walk and i was like i'm making a veggie a veggie egg wrap he said it better be whole grain which it wasn't whole grain because it's hard to work with the whole grain wraps to get a good tight wrap i've tried and it's worth it but i'm getting ready to ditch the wraps all the way around anyway because uh Mm, because um it's just extra carbs that I have to deal with and I don't want to deal with them I gotta get my carbs down the last time I did this and I lost all that weight uh, when I was doing the pound a day I was juicing twice a day eating raw veggies very rarely did I eat a cooked meal and my energy was through the roof because of it and there's a beautiful breeze out right now Oh my God, what a beautiful breeze. But, uh, anyway, I, I got rid of my carbs the last time, so I don't really know how far this is gonna take me. It's not an incredibly long uh, walk, but it's long enough for my first morning. I'm gonna do this every day before uh, August 20th when I'm going to Debbie Lynn's for her barbecue. And I hope to meet a whole lot of other YouTubers there. And so I'm just, I don't have like a goal weight right now. I've just got a goal date. And my mission is to, uh, look at there. Look at that RV. Oh yeah. I've been looking at those a lot too. I really, really can't wait to get an RV. Which will come later, obviously. I've got other things going on. 
I'm already sweating. That's not because I'm doing anything overexerting. I'm just, it's humid. It's really fucking humid. So I am on. Hi, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Hi, kitty. Look at the kitty. Look, it's a kitty, kitty. <gasps> hey, baby. Oh, my goodness. Come here. Come here, big head. Oh, look at you. He's scared. Okay. He ran. He's back there. He's behind me. He's like, who the hell's that lady? We had better get used to it because I'm, I'm going to be coming around a lot. This is a good short walk around Agave. Oh. <sighs> I don't really like these neighborhoods. I mean, they're okay. I would never want to live, like purchase a home out here. They're all so crammed together. I can't stand that whole crammed together thing. Kind of like what's going on in the mobile home park right now. It drives me crazy. Uh, I can't stand, I like, my, I like my space. That's the one thing about North Carolina I miss, is my space. And even the place we owned in North Carolina, was entirely too close to the neighbors. I didn't like that at all. <sighs> Something bit me. Ow. Oh, people leaving. I don't see a car. I hear it though. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's in the driveway. There's, there's two driveways. I only saw one. <sighs> Wish there was a sidewalk on this road that I'm on, but at least it's not a lot of traffic very limited on the traffic I can cross over right here and I guess I'll do what I did on the map quest thing once before a couple years ago I'll map out uh, where I've walked and see what the distance is um, Something bit my arm. Fuck. Um, I don't really know what the distance is. And I'm sure that there's a little witchy majiggy that I could wear that'll tell me. I got no money for that shit right now. I'll just go to MapQuest and put in some addresses and see what I get. Mm. I'm trying to get back into my other channel that I used for my diet in back in 2014 and early 2015 um, the channel called shrink my booty it was all about losing weight eating healthy falling off the wagon climbing back on you know shit like that I gotta switch sides again <sighs> this is not a very long video that's a good thing <sighs> see I'm wearing my I'm wearing my yogas today yogas I don't usually like to wear yogas out like this. I feel like a spectacle, but it'll hold me accountable. And that's what I want. I need to be held accountable uh, for my weight. <sighs> the sweating is good. I'm just, I'm glad there's a nice cool breeze. At least to keep me from overheating. I remember when I was walking air in school and home again. One day it was extremely hot, out of the blue, just an extremely hot day, and um, it, it, on the way home, on the way to the school, it was really bad. It was really, 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 really hot, and I thought, my God, I'm never going to make it back from the school, and I'm so out of shape. I should be ashamed of myself. And on the way home, I had to keep stopping, and I literally almost made Aaron go ahead of me a little ways when we got towards the house just to get me a ride back to the house. I thought I was going to pass out. It wasn't about me going, oh, I'm too tired and lazy. No, no. I thought I was going to pass out. And it's times like that that it reminds me that I'm 45. It reminds me. So that doesn't make me feel like, oh, I can't do these things. It just makes me realize I've got to really work hard, much harder, to, um, to be able to do them. I want to do them. I want to walk. 
I want to exercise, I want to go on nature trail hikes, I want to go biking. Um, I want to camp. I want to be able to be okay in the heat. I'm just going to have to work harder at it, not fold and wait to die. I want to do stuff. So I want everybody to hold me accountable for the weight loss, the weigh-ins, the good eating, which I didn't do so good eating last night or early this morning, whatever, because I was still awake. I was supposed to have a bowl of sher sherbet when everyone else had chocolate whatever ice cream. And instead, I, I had chocolate whatever fucking ice cream. And um, I gotta stop doing that. This, I gotta quit it. It's gotta end. I've gotta grab the sherbet instead or the Italian ice when it's snack time or the jello. Um, which I have all that. I have, I don't have the Italian ice. I decided on the sherbet instead, but I can go get Italian ice tonight. And um, it'll be. A better option, I will feel better, my energy will be better, and my results for my weight will be better. Oh my god. This little phone on the stick is really heavy. How does Rosie hold that big shit up? Let me see. Somebody has put something out that wasn't there last night. I didn't see it. I'm gonna go see what it is. What? It looks like a kid's toy or something. I can't really tell. Yeah, it's a picnic table for kids. I'll take it home. There it is. Yeah, I'll take that for my babies. That's awesome. I'm gonna take that for my kids. Yeah. I'm gonna take this home. That's a little extra weight on me. I never understand when people throw away little tykes or those step ones because they are always like um, really durable. Like when my sister had her daughter back in 84, uh, I think it was 86, she got her some little tykes toys. Little tykes hadn't been out for that long. And she still had them when my daughter Shane was born in 95. And those things just, they last for freaking ever. Um, she had the turtle sandbox with the lid. She had a slide. She had a rocky thing, a little like a yellow worm. And that shit lasts forever. I'm gonna cross the street here before I get fucking killed. Okay, I'm almost home. I'm right outside the park. Whew. It was a fruitful walk. I'm sweating. And I found something someone put out in the last few hours. That's awesome for my, my babies. So that's a good thing. I'm almost home. I can see the car from here. Ugh. Bye, everybody.